Mandrill, beautiful Mandrill. Hello Fredlings, this is Claude from Chicago and we're back with another episode of Planet Zoo and today we are building the Mandrill exhibit. So if you want to see more Planet Coaster videos or Planet Zoo videos, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because we both play Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo every single week here on this channel. And now that school is coming to an end for this semester, we will be trying to live stream a little bit more of Planet Coaster. But we're watching Planet Zoo today, and today we are building the Mandrill exhibit. But before we get to there, we had to do a little bit of touch-up work, which we'll be trying to do each and every week on time-lapse, or I might do it off time-lapse. But we are touching up the elephant exhibit because it did not have a fence, and there's an electric fence right there. So we gotta keep guests safe, so we're just doing a very simple uh, fence along the outside of this. It's a African style fence. It's, I think it would be climbable in real life and Moshe violations would probably come get me, but uh, that's fine. Uh, it's, you know, we have uh, imaginary signs that say, uh, yes, you can't climb over this or you, uh, you're you at your own risk. One of those signs, but uh, yes, the mandrel. This was suggested by a couple people, uh, Liam and Scary Scary last week. So thank you so much for commenting. Disney did not win. Uh, that's what I say a little bit later in the live section. Uh, you didn't win, but you, your suggestions really did help out. Uh, before we go there, we do a little bit of palm tree action covering up that staff pathway. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, hidden. Uh, Disney's first suggestion is putting some brush slash stonework slash a sign outside of the hippopotamus exhibit. We haven't done that yet, but we do put a cool little sign out later for the mandrill exhibit. So I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do for this uh, exhibit because I did want to have a, uh, I guess you could call a primate exhibit indoors, but uh, I remember looking at the zoo in real life that I go to all the time, and I remember the mandrills being outside. So that's what we decided to do here today, is uh, continue putting them outside, just so we have sort of consistency. We will have this big primate house, and we might start that next week, depending on what you guys comment down below. So right now on screen are the three animals you could pick. You could pick the, I think it's the bonobo, the orangutan, or the... Um, African dog. Um, the orangutan that we are choosing from is the one with the big fluffy face. Uh, I don't know what they're called. You, see, you, you'll, you know what they are. I just deleted the first name because I was like, uh, I don't know if anybody really cares about the first name. It, it, this, we're making the one with the big fluffy face. Okay, I don't know. We'll, I'll figure out its real name if we if it wins. Uh, but it's going to be a pretty simple exhibit on details. We still got to come back through here. Um, but uh, we do a concrete sort of outer wall because obviously we are dealing with primates now and primates can climb. So we got to make a non-climbable area. I didn't realize that uh, animals in this game are actually, actually don't glitch through walls like staff members and guests. So if you are playing Planet Zoo, uh, make sure you... Uh, you, you, the animals won't go through this apparently so uh, you can definitely do that. Uh, we are using a null barriers and a steel door. Uh, for people that are curious and also today is the day that the well yesterday technically is the day that the aquatic update came out for planet zoo and it looks very exciting i haven't bought any of the dlcs and this series has been doing quite well so maybe if it continues going well maybe we'll get some uh in the future maybe for christmas and uh, start working on some of those we are using the soundtrack though from the aquatic update because uh i actually really like it um but yeah so we do some no barriers here, giving me a little bit of issue connecting up and down. Um, if people are doing this uh, in their own zoos, uh, you, what I've learned is you sort of have to go out the way and go up or use really small increments to go up here. You see, those are like one meter uh, wall, no barriers. Uh, no barriers are invisible, but they are just sort of telling everyone that this is a real sort of uh, wall. It's just not there because you're actually building a wall. It's a little confusing, but if you play Planet Zoo a good bit, you can. Just had to get that uh, tucked in there a little bit so there wasn't an issue because even if a animal goes past that little no barrier, even though they're trapped, 
it will trigger a warning signaling all the guests that are nearby to run away and close the park down. It's a big issue, so make sure you just kind of tuck those away so no animals can actually get to it. So we get our first mandrill here, and I look at it, and I'm like, wow, that is really small. Didn't realize how small they are. Um, and I just looked really quickly on the wiki. Um, I can't remember. Is it still open on my screen? Where is that? Man, mandrill, mandrill. Mandrills weigh... Uh, they mandrills are 1.8 to 2.1 feet tall, which is less than a yard. Uh, I don't know what the conversions are to European, and they weigh about uh, man, men weigh anywhere between 42 to 82 pounds, and females weigh anywhere between 22 to 33 pounds uh, as an adult. So uh, they are very small. So we order a bunch of them here. Uh, we have two males and two females. Um, was only planning on putting two, but uh, I was like, wow, we actually need a bunch of them. We do a little bit of terrain work in here, and the guests can't see much, as you've seen from some of those live shots. So they can only see where I put the green grass at and a little bit in front. Uh, but I want these... I want to start looking at safety and stress levels for the animals because we will be turning those features on later on so they don't stress out and like die or freak out or rampage. I don't know what they do when they get stressed. I never got to that point. Um, so we got to give them a nice stressful areas, and we'll talk about that in the live section. Here, I'm doing something that I see in the real-life parks. Uh, there's a nice stone structure in the middle where the mandrills can sort of climb up and be the king in the castle per se um and they can just sort of climb up there and do their own thing um and then if we do a little bit of bedding inside there we kind of stole that idea from the hippopotamus exhibit we did last time um i'm putting in a prefab barrier here which um sadly is not how i like it i like how it looks and i like how it is it just is super glitchy and i don't know why so we will have one of these days a Day where we go back and uh, retouch everything up but it's super glitchy and i don't know once again i still don't know why here's me ordering a bunch of mandrills we order some in the live section as well uh one of the uh animals is named simba which i do say i think in the live section saying that i accidentally sold them i think that was the little clip right there if you pause it um that i accidentally sold them but i didn't trade or something didn't something phenomenon happened where he didn't get sold to another zoo and um uh, he's still here, so he'll be in the live section. We'll do that live, and you'll see me freak out and be like, well, this is cool. Um, the reason why I only had one male in this exhibit and a bunch of females is because last time I did this uh, months ago, they freaked out that there, or the two males freaked out that uh, they had this huge exhibit, but there was another male. So uh, I decided to sort of yeet uh, yeet, I try to yeet Simba out of here just like they did in the movie, right? Um, but uh, obviously it didn't happen. So I guess maybe we have a happy ending here. I don't know. But uh, I like how the climbable areas work. We're probably not going to be using prefab next time because there is a little bit of a glitching issues. But uh, maybe that's just the way I built it. We'll be doing a complete custom one next time if a uh, that animal wins. We're going to bring up the animals one more time on screen right about now. So comment down below. They are also in the description. And if you guys comment before me, uh, they won't be there uh, in the comment section. But uh, I will try to put them in there because I'm usually at work when these uh, videos come, go out. So uh, sometimes you guys beat me. So there will be in the description and on screen. Here we're doing a little bit of an overhang here. I really like this detail. Uh, I wanted to do a completely indoor exhibit. But then again, I was like, they're outside. Why can't the guest be outside? Uh, we do a little bit of uh, what you call these educational signs here i love the mandrills picture to be quite honest it looks very scary which they are quite scary <laughs> in real life i mean they're quite small like i said uh but uh i i wouldn't want to be uh you know yeeting with them in a boxing match or anything like that now here is the section that disney commented he said claude make a sign so people know where the heck they're going you know that's not exactly what he said so i came up with this idea that i was going to put lettering on a piece of stone and I think that still could be a good idea, but I, I don't like, I don't, that's not what I, we end up going for. I'm not saying that was a bad idea. Here's uh, the planet zoo uh, glitching as you can grab the little thing and it's not actually selected, but it is selected, but it's not selected. So had a little bit of an issue there, but we got it working. Um, so I decided to do a cool little texture, um, which I'll talk about more, but it's just lettering with a drop shadow effect on a piece of wood. I mean, it's nothing crazy, 
but I really like how it turned out, and thank you so much, Disney. We will be going back to all of our areas and doing something very similar, A, on a piece of stone, on a piece of wood, or doing it in a piece of stone, maybe on the wall. Uh, but this will probably be the design or the, the font uh, for the rest of the area. So thank you, thank you so much. And if you guys don't even want to pick which animals in, please give me suggestions. Please tell me what's going on. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. It really helps out. Um, I'm going to take a quick breather, get a drink of water. We'll be going to the live section in a few seconds. So uh, hope you enjoy. And then at the end, remember, we do some glamour shots with the animals uh, just in their natural habitat. Redlings, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. And like I said, during that time lapse, this is probably once again another great build. And now that we're doing Planet Zoo almost every Wednesday here in this channel, the builds keep getting better and better with your comments. They are really improving. So make sure, even if you don't like the animals, to comment down below on some suggestions for improvements. And one of the improvements that I saw in last week's episode was from Disney. He did come up with a great idea for a sign telling the guests what animals are in the exhibit so obviously with this being a man mandrill that i wanted to use a little sort of sign here and i was originally designing to put this on this rock like i probably said it in the time lapse but i put it on a wooden board because i think that would be more realistic it helps pop the words out a little bit better plus it could be removed and uh refurnished in the future if it wasn't engraved i mean ideally maybe you would engrave it in the rock but uh, i think with this technique you could maybe come back and change it up maybe the exhibit might change over th the future let me turn down the guest a little bit because i don't know how loud they are um but this is the mandrill i love how this turned out so thank you so much for disney for the suggestion and i will be doing the similar thing to all the exhibits uh later on um but i don't have the time right now to do that but i did do something different which most people probably don't know you as like an a creator of like media all the time you have to come up with the cool ways to make text a little different every single time but not that much different to make it uh unreadable so i just take the letters that were here that were originally white copied them duplicated them moved them back moved them down or moved them back moved them down and moved them to the right to give you this sort of drop shadow effect with this black um i could have also moved them forward and made the back white and this black but i think this works better because this is a dark background just that little bit of detail guys really helps out with your fonts you could use that in your youtube thumbnails or uh, in your planet coaster or planet zoo uh you know builds too so thank you so much disney for that suggestion uh we're definitely doing that from now on i know this isn't really indoor but it is an overhang and i do need to add some benches here uh, but just give a little bit of shade to the guests because in a zoo, it's often a lot of walking and a lot of uh, running around. So obviously, it would be nice to sort of sit down, take a little break from everything. All right. So let, yeah. Okay. Let's put some benches in here. I know these are technically in the sunlight, but uh, this is, wouldn't be, obviously the whole day wouldn't be like <laughs> in the sun. But we'll put a couple of benches back here and I'm pretty sure guests will start using them right away. Uh, we'll add a couple over here as well. Uh, we also probably need some bins, too. And the only reason why I call them bins is because of Planet Coaster. So we'll add a bin here, too, just so... Um, let's make it a theme bin. Okay. Just put a couple in there, just so, you know, get some garbage out of here or whatnot. I don't even think we have people to take out the garbage. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's something we got to look at probably next week. But I came in here, did a couple educational signs, of course, of the mandrill. Um... And here is the view. Of course, obviously, you're here to see the animals, not my little design. Obviously, in the background, it is a little bit very... I mean, it's very weak with details back here. Uh, so we will have to come back to all these exhibits and touch them up. Um, obviously, we got... A, somehow, he's glitching all over the place. But uh, I wanted to do an exhibit to where... It looks like they're all like just watching here. Like, oh, We got some people over here. But I want... I Can you stop? I'm trying to make a YouTube video, please. Be realistic. Uh, but obviously, the two people that commented on the last video was Liam and Scary Scary. But uh, this is obviously the exhibit from the guest point of view. They have a nice view with an extra safety barrier just in case. Um, considering we are building with monkeys now, um, obviously with them, you know, sort of climbing up and down, they can also jump from back and forth. And this is not the best example. Now, I did not build this... Um, this thing, just do note, this is one of the prefabs in the game. The only thing that I added were these little wooden 
post here, these little Y posts, and then this little ramp here, and then this wood. Everything else was, this was built in game, this little prefab, so I'm very surprised that it's glitching because technically when I'm recording this, this is the brand new day for the aquatic update, um, so maybe that's why there's bugs in the game. So, uh, yeah. By the way, if you wanted me to get the aquatic pack, let me know, or any other packs. They are a little bit expensive, so maybe we'll wait for Christmas, uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but down here, we have a little bit of a food bin here. Maybe we can try to get ourselves a keeper to come over here, and a enrichment thing down here. There's already a staff in on their way over here. They gotta cut the little food up. Did a little bit of, uh, leaves down here. Uh, one of these guys was named Simba, so... So far, as Liam says, the Lion King, so <laughs> we were talking about it. Uh, so far, every exhibit has a Lion King character just in a different format. <laughs> so, like, I think the Rafiki is actually the mandrill that's the elephant, and then somebody is the buffalo that's actually the other one, and then I think one of the hippos, oh, not the hippos, the hippos aren't anything, but this one's a Simba, you know, it's just going it's like all over the place. But I do think I accidentally sold Simba. Uh, I think <laughs> or he's sleeping, but here they are down here Eating their food enrichment. Uh, this seems to look to be like a Little packets like little pouches you kind of shove some food in there like they're gonna pick it out You know, I don't know why that's a thing. Uh, this is like a stick It looks like there's some watermelon on there. Dang, he'd be good or she'd be good Um, the only reason why I only put one male and a bunch of females is um, I played before like nine ten months ago and they got in a bunch of fights because there was two males in exhibit and i was not going to have them screaming at each other the entire time so just one male and a bunch of females i don't think i have breeding on yet but maybe we'll turn it on in the future just so we can uh, you know see some little cute babies down here uh, but there's a good bit of a uh, good bit of places they can go uh, a lot of foliage they can also hide from the guests uh right here they can play by themselves over here and hide and uh, they can obviously go in there so they can be de-stressed or they can hide behind the rock as well uh, i know it's not really the most pretty exhibit but in real life at the zoo that i go to uh or went to a lot and i haven't been there in a very long time but they have a mandrill place and it looks pretty similar to this but wow nice phone looks pretty similar to this but it's uh it seems to be like even worse than this um it's just pretty much a it looks like it's a concrete stone that looks somewhat like this but a little bit taller um concrete thing like this and then like a, just a deep drop uh no foliage uh i don't think there was any toys and there was like a million of these guys uh, and was just sort of chilling on that one rock i have a very vague memory of it they might have had a wooden cage but i honestly don't remember that i'm assuming they probably did i just cannot picture that and this is the inside of the exhibit so obviously they are having a fantastic time up here um they can play up here i played with a little uh symbol thingies i was gonna put a keyboard up there but i just don't think keyboards are that realistic um here we go one of the little girls are playing with the little grab ball down here sort of running around and uh who's here Mimbasa. I don't know. He's, it looks like he's just... He's just... Or this is a guy, right? He's just chilling, bro. <laughs> he's just chilling. But uh, I really liked how this exhibit turned out. And I was only going to have two in here. But then I learned that uh, we could actually have uh, quite a bit. I don't think they're actually... I think they're all happy. I usually try to get the stats um, quite well done. Oops, I don't want to click on that. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the stats. Uh... Pretty, pretty tight, unclimbable area, but they have a good bit of land that they can sort of terrain. Maybe we can get a couple more in here. Um, I would name the animals after the people that comment. Uh, if you guys want me to do that as well, we can make that happen. But let's add in uh, this girl, and then let's add in this girl. I will send them to this place right here. I don't know if this is going to make an issue or not, but I actually wanted to show you guys this live or live uh so you guys can see what's going on where is this yeah there is simba i didn't sell him where why isn't he coming over here send the zoo come on i knew there was simba i knew we didn't get rid of him but this is how the process goes they pretty much um get transported from our little facility over here we should see yeah there's one person running i don't know if you can see them right over there there's another guy running as well and they run all the way over here. You see this in the time-lapse videos. 
and they just come on down here. Yeet the box in here. The definition of yeet the box in here. Yeet! Boom! Little new mandrill in the park, or in their exhibit. And look at this. I, she's already very fond of the, uh, the other monkeys. So, quite happy how this exhibit turned out. I think in the future, uh, <laughs> I think in the future we'll try to make some more custom, uh, I mean, make some more custom things. I really thought a prefab would be a good way to start because I didn't think it would glitch out, but, uh, it is what it is. Um, we'll come back here in the future and take a look at it. Make sure you comment uh, next week. It's animals, they are on screen right now. And uh, we'll see you next time. Let's go to some live action shots of the mandrill.